Good morning, everyone. It's cold this it morning. Is, it is cold, <laughs> as you can see. Um, today is a different day. We're at Bush Gardens. It's a new adventure for both yes. of us. Yes. Neither of us have been here before, but yes. we're with Mitch and Alyssa today. Mm -hmm. They're going to be our guides pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's going to mostly be like animal encounters. We are doing a, a tiger encounter. Yes. Which is, you have to buy additionally. I think it was $30 a person. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to film on like a lot of the rides or anything. So. Yeah. But, well, uh, yeah, we're going to do a lot today. So. Yeah, and we're here on their last day of Christmas. So. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, we can show you guys what they do for Christmas as well. Yes. So we'll head on in. Look at their white Christmas trees. <laughs> So we're just walking in. Oh, hi. <laughs> Did you not want me to show you? Oh, there's gators right there. How exciting. We're going to a Cobra's Curse, if that's what we didn't say we were going. Okay, we're going on Cobra's Curse. That's what it looks like. Beware of snakes. Rawr. Rawr. Are we supposed to be going into like a dig site? Oh. Oh my god, it's scary. It's dark in here. It is. It is beautiful. Oh, there are real snakes. Yeah, there are. This is really scary. I feel like I'm like in horror nights. Stop. <laughs> Stop, Mitch. <laughs> so we just went on that. What'd you think? It was fun. We didn't spin. Yeah, we didn't spin at all. I know. And I thought part. it was pretty fun. Is there a car coming? Yeah, there's coming. They're coming? Ew, gosh, nasty. <laughs> Ew. Oh, here they come. We were in their cars. We were in the front car and ours didn't move at all. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, ours didn't do that at all. We should, we'll have to go in again. Maybe it'll spin like that. Ours was like perfectly straight. Yeah, it was. We are headed to Cheetah Hunt, I think. Hello. 35 minutes. I don't know if that's long or not. Is that long? Alyssa said it gets up to like two hours. Oh, so it's not long. Okay, so 35 minutes is not long then. Look at what it looks like. It looks like Oh yeah, it looks like a cheetah head. Isn't that clever? It looks like a cheetah. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's a big cheetah head. It does look like stuffy. That one was a lot of fun. The, that second hill when you like you launch and then you go up, like I was, I like swore because I didn't know we were going <laughs> to go right back here? down again. Yeah, the one where you like you're like going down again. By the way, yeah. the little like baby hill. Yeah. I was like, oh gosh, my stomach totally like went up. <laughs> that's by far my favorite one here. It's a good one. Yeah, that's a fun one. It's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. All I like right. the part with the, when you get close to the water. And yeah, the water's so cool. Yeah. It's, very, it's a very pretty ride. Yeah. 110 minutes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow. So it shot up since we got in line. Yeah. So it was what, 35? 35, yeah. 35. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, it's almost lunchtime. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. It's lunchtime, and we're at the Serengeti Overlook. Well, we're inside right now. But that's where it is. It's right across from Cheetah. Which now is up to 130. Oh, it's 130 now? Yeah. Wow. You know what? It smells like really intense, like cherry coke, doesn't it? It does. Like granny, like really strong. It does, yeah. So there's the food over there. You order right there. And then there is a bar, or a full bar over here. I think we're going to go and sit by the windows. Are we going to sit by the windows? Yeah. There is some sea. Oh yeah, there you can see animals. all the animals. Look at all the giraffes. There are so many giraffes out here. Oh yeah. And some other. Furry. 
And there's some zebra. zebras. Are those the zebra that they kicked out of Disney? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. You can see some animals out there. There's some giraffes. Cool, cool. Alright. So we just got some food. We're all fueled up. And ready to go see some animals. We were just up there. And now we're right here. Look at the animals. And there's people in the little safari trucks. You can feed the giraffes. You can kind of see them out there. They're kind of small. How much it, is this? Supply? There they are. That's only thirty dollars. Oh, that's funny. Oh, look at them. Chilling. Chilling. There they are. <laughs> they're just sitting. Isn't that they're supposed to be their food? Yeah. <laughs> so they're sitting in their food. Yeah. They're warming that's it up. That's something bags would do. They're warming it up. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, he wants to get in. You know what I think is the oh, most right interesting animal exhibit is the the, the seals, sea world, or the sea lions, whichever one. Oh, the yeah, those ones. <laughs> sea lions. Yeah. Look at, look at, it's just, just look looking right at us. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what up? Just lean. He's leaning against the log. He's doing a sexy pose. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one sitting back there by himself, like in the shade. Oh yeah. Kind of in the shade. Yeah, that one right there. Oh. <laughs> That's like the life right there. You just sit. <laughs> That's the life. Yeah, where you can just sit in a bucket of your oh, own food. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks terrifying. <laughs> Now he's like, he's digging for nothing. Oh. I like these two acting like it's like a hot tub. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? He's just like sitting right on his butt. This is his hot tub. With like his legs sticking out. It's just so funny. This is the light version. And then that one, that one's still. Oh, oh, oh. He's oh. Okay. That one's still just sitting there. I don't care. I'll watch. See, now he's got a hot tub. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you just gonna sleep like that? That looks like something Duffy would do. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. He's like crouched over in a ball. So weird. It's so strange. This is a nice view. We'll show more. Can you see it when you're on the train? Yeah, you go inside. You're that. like inside. You're oh, this inside. is very zoomed. Alyssa, your face is very close. <laughs> I was zooming in on your Got a good view of Cobra's Curse from here. <clears throat> oh my goodness, guys, look. Guys, we're gonna go in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on a safari. We're going on a safari. <laughs> Jacob, get in. Whoa. Are we all snugging? A little tight for me. Tight get for in, me. guys. <laughs> the back, <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell, get in the trunk. And look at them. They're right there in the sun. <laughs> look at them. Why? They are cute. They're sunbathing. I love how close they let you get to them. I know. Mm -hmm. God, they need a windshield wiper. Jacob, you're supposed to steer. Don't hit the lions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this, this pole first. Yeah. Did we miss him? Oh, he's up there. There's a prowler back in the door. He's licking his chops at all the children. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just pacing back and forth. Hey, he's like, hey, I'm letting you get my good stuff. <laughs> Where'd he go? Here it comes. Oh, no. No, he's like, I don't want to be my. Oh, yeah, that's a bigger one. 
They're, they're just very, as ugly. They're very, like, stocky. Oh, that one's cute, the way it's sitting. <laughs> the one laying down? Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Why? He's not a bird. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here they come. There they go. I recognize these from Disney's Safari. The Tommies. Look at how cute they are. It's the s'mores deer. The s'mores deer. One of them was running a little bit. Now it's too cold. They're frozen. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're going to town on the food. Nom, over nom, there. Nom, nom, nom. And that one is playing with the bush. <laughs> there he is. All right, we're in the splash zone of Shikara right now. Oh, there they go. And they come back up over here. They come around. They're in the danger zone over here. Here it comes. That was dangerously close. <laughs> Woo! You would have been soaked head to toe. He would have been. If you would have been in there. Oh my, I could feel the sprinkles. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so at 1.30 we are doing the tiger encounter. Yes. And so you had to book the tiger um, encounter. You need to book it ahead of time or if there is space available, you should book it um, the day of. Yeah. But we're going to yeah. go behind the scenes how they take care of the tigers. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully I can film most of it and that'll be happening soon. Yeah. Yep. So and he's right, there's one he's right behind us. us. I'll show you guys. But I just heard someone say he's getting up. So. There he is. Or she. He or she, I can't tell. While we're killing time, we're gonna go check out the River Rapids. We're not gonna go on it because it's too cold for that. Apparently, and I don't want to get wet. Mitch said it was the like yo, this is the most wet rapids ride. Like anywhere, yes. Don't worry, there's no gators on it that I know of. Hey, here they come, just around the river bend. My goodness, that ride's so loud. There they go. <laughs> and they go around to the other side. And there they are. We're on our way. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> are you excited? I am. Don't pet the tigers. <laughs> Don't pet the tigers. Don't pet the tigers. Don't go over the yellow Don't line. Don't go over the yellow line. And if they ask us to leave, we just have to leave. No questions asked. No questions asked. I got it. Guys, look at the little stuff. Is it? It's like <laughs> so it fluctuates depending on their activity level, the season. In their age, but this is a really important area for all those healthcare behaviors I was talking about. So if you look back where his tail is right now, we can actually take the tail out and do our voluntary plunge draws that way. Okay. 
And again, with our training, everything is voluntary. So at any point, uh, Utan feels uncomfortable or he wants to walk away. Uh, he has access to this hallway, so he can just leave if he feels like it. You know, where he's, he's not a forced participant. He can go in with them. These are three inches long, usually retractable. They do sharpen them. You'll notice that each bedroom has a log or some sort of wood or something to maintain their claws. They do all that by themselves. This is what those claws can do. So this is some of those enrichment items I talked about. We can give them buckets that they can play with. Uh, the best toy for them is that something they can destroy or part, which they have fun doing. And here are some of their skulls. So you can see how big their teeth are. Their teeth are actually really cool. Um, they're super long, so they're long on the outside, but also the root bed goes almost all the way up to their eye socket. Um, that allows them to grab onto prey and hold on, and that so they don't lose any teeth. Uh, if you lose a tooth out in the wild, it's pretty much a death sentence. You're not going to be as effective as hunting. Uh, and these guys, obviously, hunting is very important. Um, but what sets these guys apart and why you can tell they're predators, if you look at the way their eyes are situated, they're on the front of their head, and that's really good for judging distances. English and like really furry things, you don't have to look. Um, but this is the bulk of their diet. Um, this is actually horse meat. The reason that we use horse instead of cow or beef is that horse is much more natural. It's much close to what they would be eating in the wild. They're eating deer and boar, like I said, that's very lean meat, much like horse. This food also contains all parts from the horse, so bone, muscles, organs, fibers, tendons, everything they're going to need for a full, complete diet. If we were to just give them ground beef from the supermarket, it's not it's also very high in fat and not a complete nutrition supplement for them. Um, on the point of giving them a bunch of different extras and things, we also can offer them different treats for enrichment. So these are all, looks like a spine. Um, we can also give them different types of bunny rabbits, guinea pigs, quail, whole chickens. No, everything's going to be dead. Uh, dead prey is a lot easier to manage. It's a lot easier to check for disease um, so we know what exactly we're feeding them. Also, sometimes live prey decides to fight back, so you might not think a bunny could do a lot of damage, but they do have really sharp teeth and claws. So this is Rakaia, that tiger that we met outside, that is actually his brother. So he's also here for breeding purposes. He's one of our Malayan males. He was actually born here six years ago. He's a part of that Malayan tiger breeding program. And you can see in here, we have some more of those logs. He has his box in here, that's another form of the first and how do you just be going through some of our general behavior? So different behaviors that allow us to you can look at their body, see how they're moving, making sure everything's okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so big bangs. They get so big. The claws? No, so they have still all their claws and teeth. Yeah. Okay, is it? It's like Duffy, it doesn't like chew. It just... Yeah, it's just small as it. The other one did that too.
the training sessions by yeah. Kaya, actors in general. How do you start to implement like the bed and back up? A lot of it uh, is us capturing the search. So we're actually going to bring in after this one. Like, one of our guys on the board and send another one out. Uh, so they're constantly really oh, like rotating. So when Kaya is in these two bedrooms right now, but tomorrow he's not going to be, they can be pretty much forever in the house. And again, that's really important for their mental and physical health to kind of not be in the same place for an extended period of time. Um, we like to constantly move them around as much as possible. Um, because again, it's an important source of exercise for them moving around and making them do things and walking around the house. Um, also, it's a great source of energy for them to smell the entire um, So, you'll see a lot when they go on habitat, especially after someone had just been outside. They'll go and they'll pee where they had just peed, they'll go smell everything. The first thing they do when they get on habitat is they'll walk around and they control their nerves. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, so that was an example of how they react to those scents. Um, they like rolling around and then it up. I think that was curry. Um, okay. But they all have not been a little bit. Um, <laughs> if these toys are made out of plastic, then they're made out of meat. Um, so like, you oh can my see gosh, this was like uh, a tiger? Yeah. Look oh. at how thick that is. They really like to take the hair apart and destroy things like, like, like this. They I really like that. Just leave it. Uh, they things like this keg. They like uh, because they can throw it on the ground and it makes a lot of noise, but after that they're kind of done with it. Um, things like the cones they really enjoy because they can dig their teeth into it and shred them. Um, so those things are really fun for us to get out of the restaurant too because it's fun for us to see them actually interacting with things and playing with them. Tigers, like I said, big house cats, they're going to sleep and just lay around about 20 hours a day. Uh, so seeing them active and moving around and doing things is really cool. But also, then laying down is a very natural behavior to decide they're comfortable, so that's also really important. I'm gonna head on up. Just leave it. It's fine. Just like shredded all of this stuff. <laughs> this big hole on That was so cool. It was cool. It was a lot of fun. It was yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't think your tiger noises. I didn't think we'd be that close. We were so close. Yeah. One of them, that one was huge. Yeah, I, I didn't get to was, see that one was, really well. Yeah, he was kind of. Yeah. He was big. Yeah. yeah, he was big. Yeah. But that was a big boy. It was so cool. I think it was worth the $30 yeah, a person. So cool. yeah. yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. All right. I'm here. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. I, would, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Seeing me them too. like eat the meat out of the like. The yeah. Like, and then when he climbs. And they climb on the cage. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. They're much, much bigger and like that close. Yeah. yeah oh my gosh. I, yeah, they're yeah. huge. Yeah. They're gigantic. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think now you know why you shouldn't pinch the nose. Anymore. I'll I still want to pinch the nose. He's swinging to the goddamn. I see some elephants. Mama, jump out. <laughs> <laughs> Eat up. <laughs> there are more over there. What? They're dancing. Oh yeah, he's swaying the music. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jacob's favorite. I love the penguins. I love penguins. You do. <laughs> See, they're hilarious. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Why do you like penguins? I don't know. Because they're funny. The cute lady stands Take there. your picture by the penguin. Okay. 
they always lose lost in the field. Why am I in the corner now? Here they go. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> Why is this one so like? There's this chubby one. <laughs> He's so like honey. Get <laughs> <In> that face. <laughs> Do you want a penguin as a pet? Yes. You do? Yes. That would be wonderful. You're probably the only person. That would be wonderful. <laughs> look, look, it's so funny. You have like no neck. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Okay, so we have made it around the park, mostly. And we are just waiting for the cheetah run. Alyssa said it's the greatest thing because I wanted to watch Christmas on Ice. And she said no. So I would have to say, if you're going to come to Bush Gardens, you would really have to plan out what encounters you want to see. Because it is, you have to line them up because the cheetah run and, and the other encounters only happen once a day. We miss the baby. We miss the cheetah cubs and their playtime. Yep. Because we were looking at the tigers instead. Yeah. So definitely plan your day out. So the cheetah run is right here in the cheetah, I don't know, <laughs> exhibit. That is the word. The problem is, is that they don't give you the times of these encounters on the website. Yeah, you have to like walk to the actual exhibit and see. And this park is gigantic. My name is Cherish. I want to thank you so much for stopping by our habitat for our final presentation of the day. Are you ready to see a cheetah? Yes! Yeah! This is it's called a war run demonstration. What that a means is we're going to be getting a female cheetah by the name of Kabisa. She is five years old. Those are weird. Out here to name them like a bit of her speed. Amy. Amy. Yeah, uh, Amy. This is the second time she's running. This is Bob the cheetah. The park is always different. What behavior the cats participate Say hello in, how many runs they might be doing, the course that the run the takes cheetah. on. Uh, right now, Kabisa is in the yard behind us, so you might see her silhouette moving uh, in excitement of this training presentation. Now here at the park in this area, we do have eight cheetahs that call Bush Gardens home. They are divided in four different social groups, so I'd say the most practiced behavior is us constantly moving them around to give them ample opportunity back behind the scenes, but also right here on the habitat. If you know, the largest cheetah populations are found in Africa, and they are very visually motivated. So you'll notice that the habitat is elevated. Uh, that was done on purpose because She's we want you strength. to easily be able to see our cheetahs, maybe capture a photo or two, or just have the camera down enjoying the moment. Uh, but in the no atmosphere, the what we find them paying attention to yeah, everyone is enjoys the guests the constantly walking by, coming in and out of these windows, like right now. and more importantly, <laughs> that queue line. Get on that cook to there. It looks like we are ready. Shelly was testing that. Give me a thumbs up. We have Alexis ready. All He's right, ready. everybody. It's it. our turn to get Kadisa out here. So here we go. Count down loudly with me. Five, Five four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> they look just like Bagheera. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, jeez. Nicely done! Woo! She started off a little bit slow, but that's because they are an animal that stalks. So what? we definitely don't expect them to come barely through that gate and, and of course go me. after that. So what I'm making sure I do now, because she did participate that and do a good job, I so made my come way over to her and follow that up with that reinforcement. So drawing attention, like I said, to those desired behaviors. Uh, now as you saw her out here running, of course there's a lot of adaptations that help her pick up that speed. So they do, do have a much smaller head in comparison to their body, which makes them very aerodynamic. They do have very long, powerful limbs, 
particularly their hind limbs, are going to propel them forward very, very quickly. And that tail, you'll notice that very long, powerful tail, come back the which works one. just like a rudder on a boat. So it is critical for directional balance. Now, a couple other features that are iconic to cheetahs what? is what we call their tear mark. <laughs> so you can see that solid black line that goes from the corner of her eye around to her, around to her mouth. And what that's going to do is basically work just like sunglasses that some of you are wearing right now. They are a diurnal hunter, so they want to make sure that that sun is absorbed in that area versus directly in their eyes so they can clearly see their prey. All right, we're in the kangaroo exhibit. Hold on, Typo. Look, <laughs> Mama, look. I'm a kite. <laughs> Why do you have to be five to come in here? You can? Yeah. You have to pay for that? Yeah. So you have to pay to feed them. They're tiny, their hands. They are tiny. They clown feet. Not like you. Can you pet them? Yeah, you, you can pet them. them. You can? Yeah. Also, get this one. <laughs> it's not, I can't just say, oh, you can go. You got it. <laughs> I can't reach. It's close. <laughs> yeah. Behave yourselves. <laughs> it's very soft. Yeah, is it's it? Crazy, yeah. All right. All right. So it concludes our day. Yes. How was your time at Bush Garden? It was fun. Good time. Good time. Fun. Yeah. I didn't care as much about the rides. The rides were fun. No, we only did do the two rides. We didn't do any other rides. I care more about the animals. Yes. <laughs> I would definitely come back. We're definitely going to come back. We're for sure coming back for food and wine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I would like to do the cheetah encounter someday. <laughs> yes, I want to do the cheetah encounter, but that one's ninety dollars instead of the tiger one, which was thirty. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 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 But the tiger one was cool. Yeah, the tiger one was really that. cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely come back. It was a fun day. Definitely more enjoyable when it's cold out. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. We both all agree that we're never coming here in the summer. Yeah, I can't even imagine when it's hot. Yeah. It's pretty it's, miserable. It's really yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was our day. Hope you enjoyed it. A lot of animal encounters. Woo. Yay. Alrighty. I don't know what we're going to do next, but we are going to Discovery Cove on a week from now. Yes. So, and we'll try our best to do a good video from there, but we don't have a GoPro, so, but we'll try. We'll do our best. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>